Persona 5 is a hell of a lot of fun, and if you want to find out every little thing for yourself, you absolutely can. If you'd like to know some of the things we found out while playing that might give you a boost along the way, stick with me for the next few minutes and I'll sort you out. Be sure to subscribe to check out our other Persona tip videos, but for now, here's 10 things I wish I knew before starting Persona 5. First up, take your time. I know the temptation is strong to get those palaces knocked over in the first few days, but if you use those early deadline days to get a jump on your social links, you'll have an easier time in dungeons. As your teammates will be stronger and you'll be able to do things like get extra experience or money depending on what links you're leveling. Next up, this is especially important early on, be sure to buy SP items from vending machines. I know they only give you 5 SP per can and that doesn't seem like very much, but if you're buying them every week from every machine that offers them as they're scattered around Tokyo, that can add up to you having enough SP to secure a route to the treasure in one run of a palace instead of needing to go back home and waste another day. On top of that, if you're wondering what health items are worth it for what price, I generally figured out that if you're getting 10 HP for 100 yen at minimum, that's not so bad. If the food item or what have you offers a much better ratio than that, then you should probably pick it up. This tends to apply particularly to seasonal items. Some confidants have much more useful abilities than others, so be sure to check what's coming up in your confidant tab. If you max your teacher Kawakami, she can occasionally grant you free time during the day or more time to do things at night when you'd otherwise be tired. Buddying up with the semi-annoying Mishima will grant you more experience in battle, and listening to Yoshida's speeches makes negotiating with personas for money or items easier and more rewarding. On top of that, you'll always want to enhance the links of your key party as they have essential skills that make battling much easier. While navigating around the map on your days away from the palace, be sure to hit square to see where you can find confidants to visit, even when they haven't texted you to hang out. This view also tells you if you can rank up with them immediately should you choose to hang out. Unless you have nothing else to do or need to level one particular social stat, avoid activities like studying or batting that only rank a single stat. You'd be better off spending time with confidants as you can often level both your social link as well as a special stat that is linked to spending time with the confidant. For example, spending time with Hafumi levels your knowledge, spending time with Yoshida and Oya level your charm, and Iwai levels your proficiency. Next up, buy and choose the right gifts. If you pay attention to your confidant's tastes, you can offer them a great gift to get a big bump in your social link with them. Once you've got the money, head down to the underground mall in Shibuya and buy all the gifts. Also, try to buy every gift you come across in new locations you encounter. I know, it sounds crazy, but it's worth it to have the right gift for the occasions the game lets you offer one to a companion. You'll also impress them a lot more if you give them something they're interested in. For example, on is crazy about sweets. I'll let you work out the rest. Since we're talking about hanging out with your pals, there are right and wrong dialogue choices for when you get the rare chance to pipe up while chilling with your confidants. So try to tailor your responses accordingly. Wherever possible, before you hang out with somebody, make sure you're carrying a persona of the corresponding arcana to the person you're seeing, as it will give you an extra social link boost when you commit to hanging out. On the topic of personas, make sure you're always fusing. The higher the level of your persona, the better the attributes. Now I know what it's like to get attached to a certain persona, but as long as you aren't losing essential skills in your arsenal by sacrificing your creatures to make better ones, you should always be updating your personas. Filling out your persona decks also grants you bonuses, like making persona cheaper to summon. If you're desperate for stat boosts, make sure you eat your burgers. If you head to Shibuya and take on the big burger challenge successfully, you'll get a huge boost in a variety of skills. Spoiler alert, with winning this one, so I'll give you a hot second to mute me. If you want to make sure you don't fail this challenge, take it when all your stats are level 2, 3 and 4 for each consecutive challenge up. While that final burger looks terrifying, the tummy ache is well worth it. 
Finally, some tips on mementos. Mementos is where you grind between palaces, but it's also where you complete your heart-stealing side quests. It's pretty massive with a huge collection of floors to every level, but in my experience, it's not exactly grueling. So I'd recommend heading in on rainy days when the enemies are tougher, rare personas are more common, and the treasure chests are more plentiful. That way you'll get more experience for your time and better rewards. As always, don't go into a palace or mementos without a lockpick, or several if possible. There's nothing more upsetting than standing lamely beside a locked chest that you can't open, and in the randomized mementos, you won't see it again. It's also a good idea to stack your requests. A mementos visit swallows your whole day, so you'll want to maximize your time there and get a lot done in one go. You also shouldn't find it anywhere near as draining on your team HP and SP as palaces can be, so you can knock over a big pile of requests in one go. That is everything I've got to tell you about, but finally, Persona 5 tells you to take your time on every loading screen, and you should. This isn't a game to knock over, or one where you need to worry too much about getting everything right. Hang out with the confidants you like, do the activities you enjoy, and you'll most likely find yourself advancing no matter what. Let us know if you found these tips useful, and stay tuned to GameSpot for more Persona coverage and all the other gamey things.